Okay, as promised, I think we're going to begin this next segment with a little bit of homework help. So hopefully uh, you'll have stuck around and looked at the next video in our series, and you'll be watching this right now, and you'll get a little bit of help on your homework. Now, as you recall, we just finished talking about neutralization reactions and how to write molecular, ionic, and non-ionic equations for acid-base reactions. So here's a bit of help for you, okay? So here we go. Other problem number one from assignment 58 says HBr and NaOH react together. Now, remember, these are all double replacement. So sodium will be with Br on the other side. Sodium is 1 plus. Br is 1 negative. So that forms NaBr. And according to our solubility rules, that's soluble, Aq. And H and OH get together and we form water. So we saw that a lot during the lecture. We'll form a salt and water here. So here's our molecular equation. And it's balanced. That's nice, isn't it? Now, let's do the ionic. And from that, we can get the net ionic. Now remember, if it's a strong acid, we dissociate it. So HBr is on our list of strong acids. So let's split that up into H pluses and Br negatives, because that's what strong acids do. They dissociate. Sodium hydroxide is a group 1 hydroxide, so that's a strong base. So we dissociate that as well. Okay. Now, on the product side, we have to decide if our salt is soluble or not. So we use our solubility rules. For sodium bromide, uh, the best rule to use is the one that says all ionic compounds that have a member of group 1, a uh, group 1 metal like sodium, are soluble, and there are no exceptions. So sodium bromide is soluble, so when I place it in water, it dissociates into its ions, sodium ions and bromide ions. And we know that water sticks together. So there's our ionic. Now, our spectators. We can get rid of Br negative and Na plus. Those are our spectators. Whatever's left is our net ionic. So we have a hydronium ion, H plus left, a hydroxide ion, AQ, and water. And there we go. We just finished letter A. I don't know how long that took me, but it wasn't much more than a, oh, two minutes. Okay, and you should be able to go that fast for all of these. Of course, you need to be able to write formulas, balance equations. You have to dissociate strong acids and strong bases. If they're weak, remember, we keep them stuck together. And then we have to consult our solubility rules to check to see if our salt is soluble or not. Okay? Let's do letter G. I was going to do B, but that's too easy. So I'm going to skip down to G for you. Well, that's a bit more difficult. Sulfuric acid. Now, molecularly, that's H2SO4 and barium hydroxide. Barium's 2 plus, hydroxide is 1 negative, so that's BaOH2. All right, double replacement. Now, Ba and SO4 are going to get together. Now, barium's 2 plus, sulfate's 2 negative. So that forms BaSO4. Now, if you looked at your solubility rules, you'd use the sulfate rule. And the sulfate rule says that all sulfates are soluble, except for silver, mercury, lead, calcium, strontium, and barium. So this is a solid. That means it sticks together in water. Water cannot separate those ions. My other product is H getting together with OH, which, of course, is water. Now, we got to balance this one. We have one barium on both sides and one sulfate on both sides. But I have a total of two plus two, four hydrogens. So I need to put a two over there for water. Okay? Now, ionically, H2SO4 is a strong acid. So we dissociate it. Now we're going to split it up into two H pluses and a sulfate, just like we did in your notes. And barium hydroxide. Let's see, is that a strong base? It's on our list of strong bases, so we will dissociate that into its ions. Ba2 plus and two OH minuses. All right, BaOH2. So there's two hydroxides there. Okay, what do I do with barium sulfate? It's a solid. 
does not dissolve in water, so we keep it stuck together. And water does not dissolve in water, so we keep that stuck together. So, this is our ionic equation. Now let's see, there's got to be some spectators here. What can we cancel out? You're right, nothing. <laughs> there's nothing that's the same on both sides. So it turns out that our ionic is the same as our net ionic for this reaction. We're done with it. Okay, so that's letter G. And finally, letter H. I'll do that one for you. This is carbonic acid and sodium hydroxide. Now I'm saying you only are allowed one mole of each. That means we won't be able to completely neutralize that acid. We only have one mole of each. Let me show you how to do that. Uh, H2CO3 and NaOH. Okay, double replacement. So sodium and carbonate are going to get together. It is not NaCO3. Stop that. Sodium is positive one, carbonate is two negative, so it's Na2CO3. Now all sodium compounds are soluble, so that's Aq. And of course we make water, right? So we have to balance this because we have two sodiums over here, only one on this side. So I'll stick a two right there. And let's see, we have two hydrogens plus two more, that's four. We got to put a two right there. Aha! Uh -huh. Did you notice I did something wrong? I did. I said one mole of each. So, that is the wrong way to do it. Let's try that again. H2CO3AQ. And I'm going to force myself to use one mole of sodium hydroxide. Now, how does that change this up here? Well, Na can get rid of, excuse me, this OH can get rid of only one of these hydrogens. We can only make one water molecule. That means one of the H's is still stuck to the carbonate. So we end up with HCO3 negative remaining after this has gotten rid of one of the two H's. So now the Na plus gets together with HCO3 negative to form Na. HCO3, sodium bicarbonate. Now that's still soluble, but you'll notice I only have one hydroxide because I forced myself to use one mole, so I can only get rid of one of those protons, not both. The other one sticks to the carbonate. So it's one negative with my sodium, one positive. So there's my molecular. Okay, and it's balanced because, like I said, we're using one mole of each. So let's write the ionic. H2CO3 is not one of my strong acids. So that means it sticks together. NaOH is a group 1 hydroxide, so it is a strong base, which means we dissociate it. Sodium bicarbonate. All sodium compounds we said are soluble, so that dissociates into sodium ions and bicarbonate ions. And as usual, we'll leave water stuck together. All right, can we get rid of anything here? Sodiums are gone. Anything else? That's it. So let's write our net ionic. H2CO3 and hydroxide reacts to form HCO3 negative and water. So there we have it. You'll notice I only used one mole of my hydroxides, so I could only get rid of one of my protons. That's why one is still stuck to the carbonate. So letter H was a bit tricky. I'll bet you're awfully happy that I helped you with that one. All right, there's your homework help for assignment 58. We'll continue with acids and bases. Part, I think we might be on part 5 soon. And we will do some neutralization coming up next, which also happens to be the another part of assignment 58. Thanks.